Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of cancer. Um, the monthly readings are already up, so you can check that out. I'm doing an extra spread here as to what is blocking your intuition. Are you struggling trying to connect? Are you trying to connect to spirit, your spirit guide and it's just not happening? Uh, what is blocking that and why you can't connect? Um, this is inspired by the workshop that I'm putting out at the end of March where we are activating your third eye and your crown chakra, which those are two of the main chakras that you need to in order to open and to activate in order to connect to your spirit guides, to your angels, to your own intuition, your higher self and all that stuff. Um, so if you're interested in that, we're going to go through all of that. I'm going to teach you. I'm not going to even just stop there. Um, they want me to teach you on how to use it, how to protect yourself, all that good stuff. So if you're looking for that, if you've been struggling, click the link below in the description or the comments and just check out what we're offering there. It's going to be live. So you're going to be with me. You can ask me questions, all that good stuff. So check it out. Let me know. Um, sign up if you want to join us. Okay. You also get the recording. So if you can't make it live, you can also um, take it with you. And even if you do make it live, you can take it with you as well. All right, so let's see. Why is Cancer's intuition blocked? And what can we do to unblock it? Mm, they want four cards. Okay. Um, all right, so first card you have here is choose a new direction. So please remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check out your moon and rising signs as well. Um, some of you here are just in bad situations, situations that are, you know, taking up your energy, vampire suck suckers, um, energy suckers. Uh, they're, they're just taking your energy. And when your energy is depleted, it makes it very, very hard to connect. When you're exhausted, when you're tired, it just makes it hard to connect. So they're saying choose a new direction here. So what changes in your life do you need to make in order for your energy to be revived? You know, what you need to be aware of basically what is happening around you that is, you know, depleting your energy. What's the toxicity around you? And if you believe, so a lot of you are in this situation. However, you think it's just you. Oh, I can't connect. I don't have it. I don't have that gift. I really want that gift. I don't have it. I can't do it. You all have it. Every single one of you has it. You just need to be able to be aware of it, of when it's there. Um, and you need to get rid of whatever is depleting your energy over here or fix it. You know, I wanted to just get rid of, but, you know, fix it, make it better, set your boundaries so that your energy can go up. But you've got to believe, you've got to believe that it's there, that you have it and that there's an ability to tap into it. Okay. And be assertive about it and take, don't take no for an answer is what I'm getting here. Cause some of you, whatever the situation is trying to hold you back from this, they don't want you to do this. It scares them. They think you'll be a different person, which you will. Okay. Um, you'll be more assertive and you'll be more, have more boundaries and stand up for yourself because you will see a whole new world. But be assertive and kick back whatever's holding you back and take action, you know, because there's no need to worry. You have, uh, that's what I go over in the workshop, like you can control it. So a lot of people get scared as to what that's going to look like. If I open my intuition, am I going to start seeing dead people? Am I going to, you know, always have this? Is it always going to be open? Like I'm scared of whatever that means. I explain all of that to you in the workshop and we go over like how to control that, how to block your energy, how to, how to protect your energy, um, and, and all that stuff. So you're not opening yourself to like a black hole here. So there's no need to worry. You're opening yourself to the light. And that's, you know, very extremely important to learn is that we only let in love and light. Even when I call my spirit guides, I say only in love and light. So whoever the hell's out there, unless you're in love and light, that's the only people I want around me. And once you raise your vibration, then those are the only people that can be around you because the other ones will go to someone else. Okay. So let's see why else here. So you have the imagination card and I feel as though that's like your imagination is taking the best of you here. 
So you're imagining what it's supposed to feel like, what it's supposed to be like. Um, I just did this in another reading where it's like, you know, you're supposed to see your spirit guide and you have all these like should, should, should. It's supposed to do this. It's supposed to, it should be like this. Um, this is what I'm told. This is what it makes it look like in the movies, you know, whatever that is, but it's not reality. So you need someone to help you kind of navigate that and, you know, take it from the imagination down to what it actually is because you're actually already using it. Um, and you probably, your spirit guides are probably sending you messages. You're just not seeing it because you expect it to be something completely different than what it really is. All right. Um, you've got the self-esteem card as well. So guardian angel, Michael. So, you know, let me tap into this for a second. So they're telling me here that yeah, they're kind of bringing me back to the choose a new direction. So whatever that toxicity is around you, it's not making you feel good about yourself. It's making you doubt yourself. It's making you question. It's making you, you know, your low self-esteem, low, low, low confidence. Um, and when you have that, that's that ego, that's that all those negative thoughts, like just attacking you every day that you're not good enough. You know, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. Um, we're going to learn that in the workshop too, is to, to get rid of that, to get rid of those thoughts. Because when you have that constant attack on you, there's no way I always explain it like this. Your intuition is like a whisper and your freaking ego is like a scream. And that scream just overpowers your intuition. So in order to connect more with your intuition, you've got to push aside the negative thoughts. And we learn how to do that as well, all right? But you can also ask Archangel Michael, because he's here on this card for you, to take his sword and cut those negative thoughts out. And it's not just going to be one time, right? Because we grow up like that with all those negative thoughts. So it's, again, like working out at the gym. You're going to have to build up this muscle. You're going to have to build up your sword, this wall that you have to these negative thoughts. And once you can do that, then your intuition can open more and you can hear it more because it's a whisper. So... In order to hear a whisper, what do you have to do? You've got to be quiet. And with all those negative thoughts there, you can't be quiet, right? You can't hear it. And then rest. And it says Holy Spirit at the bottom. So make sure you're taking time for you. I feel like you take care of everybody else. Make sure you're taking that time for you. And to rest when you need it. Listen to your body because that's your intuition too. Your body... Your body also, like sometimes your body knows faster than your mind does. So listen to your body. If it feels weak, give it rest. If it feels tired, if it feels thirsty, feed it. You know, give it something to drink. Like um, take care of your body. Get the rest that you need. Okay. I hope that resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below if it does resonate with you. Also, let me know um, if you like the spread right? Should I do these more often? And also let me know if, um, if you have any questions, like let me know what you're struggling with, with your intuition and connection. And I'm going to try to help you out. And I also want to know that so I can put it in the workshop as well. And if you're interested in the workshop, make sure you click the link below, see what it's all covered in there. It's a bunch of stuff. Like I just kept going, going, going. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be three hours, possibly more than that. So I say just spare time there. Um, but yeah, it's the end of March and we're live. So you get to ask me questions and stuff. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. So I hope you can join me there. And yeah, I hope this resonated for you and much love to all of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.